I just wanted to uh, express my concern. I am deeply, deeply um, uh, disappointed and concerned with the call out of Father Chewe Mukosa. I am very, very disappointed. I'm very disappointed, but um, I will say a lot of other things uh, at 20 hours. Uh, in the meantime, I just wanted to register to you that I am very disappointed and um, I want to urge all the Christian community, I mean all the Christian community, not just Catholics, but all Christian community, including other people of goodwill, including other people of goodwill. What we have in our country, what is happening in our country uh, is not something that we should take lightly. Uh -uh. We shouldn't take this lightly. We shouldn't take the uh, call out sent to Father Mukosa lightly. I want to emphasize this. My brothers and sisters, this is a fight against the devil. This is a fight against the devil. And I don't mean to say the people that have sent a call out are the devils. No. But the devil uses people. Eh? The devil does not operate uh, uh, from nowhere. The devil operates within the people. The devil operates within the community. The devil operates within the governments. The devil operates within ourselves. And this, for me, is one way of uh, the devil, you know, trying to fight us. And I'm, I'm saying that all of us are Christians, people of goodwill, and especially those of you who have the opportunity to speak to people, those of you who have the opportunity to deliver messages of hope, messages of encouragement, to our people, you have been summoned. The summon of of, of um, that summon of Father uh, uh, Chewe is a summon to all of us, especially those of you who are going to be giving, you know, homilies. Those of you who are going to be giving testimonies, who are going to be preaching to the people. You need to preach to the people that the people need to resist the devil. They need to resist the devil. We have never had it in our country. It is for the first time that we are having a priest, a man of God, being summoned to the police for a homily that he gave. This is, is unheard of. Even, even in, 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 in communist countries, even in communist countries, you don't see a priest being someone to police to go and explain to say what were you saying uh, what were you preaching about eh? we we just don't have that we don't it just doesn't happen if uh, because you see when a person is preaching is inspired by the holy spirit that's what we know that's what we know especially as catholic when you are preaching you are inspired by the holy spirit you could be a frail person. You could be a weak person. You could be a sinner itself. But God inspires you to talk about something. Don't, don't take it to say, no, Father Cheo was doing politics. No, Father Cheo was speaking this, the, the, the voice of the Spirit. He was inspired by the Spirit. And when the Spirit, is inspi when the Spirit inspires you, it moves people. It moves people. It is because, it is because Father Chewe was inspired by the Spirit that people are moved. That people are moved. The ceremony, that call out is a testimony that the Spirit of the Lord had actually inspired Father Chewe. Because if he was not inspired, nobody would have paid attention to whatever he would have said. Many times people have said, priests, including priests, even bishops, they have said bigger things than what Father Chewe said. How come it is not taken the way the message of Father Chewe was taken? 
The message of Father Cheo was taken like that because he was inspired by the Holy Spirit. And we should continue letting the Spirit hover around our community. And you see, what is good actually about all these things? Because I was actually praying. I, I'm just uh, from doing my, my, my prayers. Uh, I do wake up early in the morning at, at 04 and I start praying. And as I was praying, I said, no, I need to speak about this. I need to speak about it this, this morning. Today is Divine Sunday. And what is very interesting, my brothers and sisters, is that, look, we just celebrated Easter. Eh? We just celebrated Easter. And if you go back in the lives uh, at that time, you know, after Jesus was killed and then he rose, he started appearing to different people. First to those that went to the tomb and they came and they said, the Lord is risen. And the authorities, remember, the authorities were very uncomfortable. What? What are you saying? This guy that we killed, this guy that we frogged, this guy that we embarrassed, this guy that we beat so much to death and you are saying he's alive? And they started persecuting them for telling the truth because Jesus had risen and they were telling the truth that he's risen. But the authorities were upset. They were scared. They started persecuting the followers of Jesus Christ. They started persecuting. And this is exactly what is happening now. Jesus Christ died on Friday and he rose up on Sunday. And Father Chewe gave out a message of Jesus Christ's reason. Gave out a message of hope to the people. Don't despair with whatever you are going through. Jesus Christ is risen. Don't despair with the, with the Lord shedding that is, that, that is going on. Jesus Christ is risen. Don't despair with the high cost of living. Jesus Christ is with you, is among you, is going to liberate you. That is a message that he gave. And he is summoned. The same way, the same way those who were going around talking about Jesus Christ that is risen, they were being summoned. So this is not new, my brothers and sisters. It is not new. It is something that happened even at the time of Jesus Christ. It happened. And it is repeating itself. This is what it means to live, to relieve the experience of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We were not there back then. But the experience is still with us. And the things that happened at that time, they are happening even now. Because we had authority then. We had government then. It's the government at that time that killed Jesus Christ. And Jesus, and Jesus Christ was risen from the dead. And his followers started preaching about this. The truth. Started preaching about the truth. And those in power, they said, they summoned them. It is the same thing that is happening today. So, me, my brothers and sisters, today I'm saying that if you are a Christian, it doesn't matter which, which denomination you belong to. We all follow Jesus Christ. We all uh, have the knowledge of what happened. We understand the persecution that was there. This is happening even now. It was prompted by the devil then. The devil is still working. And this is why even today, those who are trying to give hope, those who are trying to speak the, 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 the message of resurrection, the liberation, the redemption, they are being summoned. Don't take Father Chai to say, no, that is his own problem. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. It, is, it, is, it is the fight. It is a summon to all of us that we have to fight the devil. Those of you uh, priests, uh, pastors, bishops who have got an opportunity to speak to people don't uh, forget to encourage people that they have to fight the way the apostles did the way the apostles did and look we need to united like today's message uh, if you are catholic you know today's message 
in the uh, Acts of the Apostles, it is talking about, you know, the, the, the believers were united. They were united and they sacrificed, they gave everything, everything, you know, to make sure that the, the, the message of Christ, the message of resurrection is carried on. That otherwise we wouldn't have, we wouldn't know about Christianity today. We wouldn't know about the resurrection today. If those, uh, uh, the, the, the first Christians, if the first Christians were not courageous, if the first Christians were not united, and by the way, today I'm saying that it doesn't matter which denomination you belong to. At that time, those people, they were, they were coming from different backgrounds, but they were united to make sure that the, resur the, the, the resurrection message is spread out and it, is, it lives up to today. Today, that sermon is a calling, is a sign that each one of us need to reach out to people, need to talk to people about the message of hope. We need to tell people the message that Father Chewe delivered on that Sunday. And the message is very simple. It is a fact. Father Chewe didn't lie when he spoke about Lord Shedding. He didn't lie. It is a truth just like those first disciples spoke about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Spoke about, you know, the 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 the, the the, the cleansing or the forgiveness of our sins through the death of Jesus Christ. They didn't lie. And this is what Father Chewe is also saying. This is what he said. That is the message that he gave. Don't lose hope. Yes, you know, the Lord shedding that we are having can be even interpreted as the gloomy life that we have. It is a darkness. That Lord shedding is representing darkness in our lives. That Lord shedding is representing darkness in our lives. Is representing the, the evil that has overwhelmed our country. That Lord shedding is representing the evil that has overwhelmed the country. There is no country that is dark three quarters of the day. Three quarters of the day, most part of the day is, is, is dark. Most part of the day is dark. Because during... During the day, of course, God provides the light. But in the night, we don't have we don't have power, and we are distracted. We despair. We need Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, to come and illumine our lives, to come and brighten up our lives. We don't have food. We are struggling. A lot of you are waking up tonight today. I mean, having had slept without eating. A lot of you today, you are wondering, what am I going to eat? How are you going to survive? That message of the risen Lord has to be preached to the people so that people can have hope that, yes, Jesus Christ is risen. Somewhere, somehow, I will be able to uh, have food. Some of you are struggling. They talk about free education. But some of you, you still have your children. They are not able to go to school for various reasons. And you are wondering about their future. You, that message of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord, needs to be taught to these people. Give them hope that God gives us children. And when he gives us children, he prepares their way. And he will come in to sort out the future of, of, of their children. We should not let this be an, a, an affair of Father uh, Chewe. No. It is for all of us. And it is a sign that the devil is working. The devil is resisting. My brothers and sisters, if we are not very careful, if we are not very careful, we will create a monster in our country that will devour us. We will create a monster that will eat us all. This is not about one person. This is not about Chilufatayali. This is not about Chewe. This is not about Estalungu or whatever. No, no, no. There is something that is happening in our country. There is a, there is a force. Believe me, there is a force. There is no way. I'm telling you, even in communist countries, you don't hear a priest 
being summoned to police. You don't. Zambia is a Christian nation. Zambia is a Christian nation. I'm, brothers and sisters, I'm, I'm telling you, please don't allow the devil to overwhelm our country. Let us go, especially today on Sunday, let us go and pray for our country. Let us go and pray for our leaders. May the devil not use them. Let us pray for our men of God, men and women of God who are spreading the message. Let them not be scared. Let them confront the devil and tell the devil, Zambia is a Christian nation and you will not succeed. That's all I wanted to say. I'll come back at 20 hours to talk about this. I, I did this this morning because I am really touched. We, it can, we, we have never had this. We have never had this. At least from the knowledge that I have, I have never had a situation or I've never heard, even in my history books, I've never heard a priest being summoned to police to go and explain what he preached on Sunday. I have never heard. Never. This is the devil. This is the devil overwhelming our country. This is the devil. The devil is trying to take over our country. Let us resist it. Let us resist it.